In this open source pro tip by Sangoma, some command line tips by Robert Keller. There is a wiki online for this pro tip. I do want to recommend that for in-depth manuals for any of the tools discussed, search online. There are numerous manuals available. First up is top. I'm going to be running asterisk version switch to simulate load. To run it, type top, enter. And then uh, you can note the load average in the upper right hand corner and then the various processes that are running uh, below that. You can kind of see what's going on with CPU, but it's not terribly intuitive. Um, you'll note that yum is spiking the CPU at this point. HTOP. HTOP's a little bit better than top in my opinion. It gives us a little bit more of a graphical representation. Um, as you can see, type HTOP, hit return. And in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the we have two CPUs, uh, two gig of memory, and some swap, about four gig. And on the uh, upper right-hand side, you can see the load, load average, and so on, uh, uptime. Uh, below that, you'll see the various processes that are running, how much CPU, and so on. And towards the bottom, you'll see a menu of items. Just be careful of uh, F9 there because you can kill certain processes. Um, as always, I suggest you practice <laughs> using the tools at first on a non-production system. You'll notice that YUM is currently taking up a good part of the processes. As soon as it starts to clear, everything will settle back down and the uh, CPU usage will return to normal. Notice that the load average is 0.62. That's below 1. Uh, therefore, good. And there we go. Things have settled back down. The third tool in our trifecta of system tools is Glances. Um, it may not be installed on your system. It's easy. Yum. Install Glances. Yes. And it's installed. That was real time. So with Glances, same exercise. I'll run the asterisk version switch to simulate load. Type Glances. Return. Upper left hand corner, CPU. Um, in this case, I'm using a single CPU system. And over on the right, you can see some of the other uh, common stats, load, and so on. And what's nice about Glance is at the very bottom, it'll start popping up little alerts for you to pay attention to. Um, IO wait can be a little bit of a bummer. It basically means, you know, the disk is waiting to write. You know, a load of 1.9 is not terrible, but it's not super it, as long as it settles down in a reasonable amount of time it's usually okay all three tools can provide valuable insight into the health of a system under load which incidentally can be defined as the system load is a measure of the amount of computational work that a computer system performs the load average represents the average system load over a period of time 1.0 on a single core computer represents 100 percent utilization Note that loads can exceed 1.0. This just means that processes have to wait longer for the CPU. 4.0 on a quad core represents 100% utilization. Anything under a 4.0 load average for a quad core is okay, and the load is, is distributed over the four cores. Moving on to log tools, tail. The tail is fairly simple to use. Type tail. Uh, I use Command F and then whatever log file you want to watch. In this case, we're going to watch the access log for Apache to take a look at a phone as it attempts to pull configuration files. And there it goes. Pretty simple, pretty direct. I'm looking for HTTP 200s in this case. Um, yeah, looks like it successfully pulled a provision. Another fine log tool is Multitail. Um, it may or may not be installed. Pretty simple. Yum install uh, multi-tail. While it installs, I want to remind everyone to go check out the online manual for any of these uh, programs I'm mentioning. Um, there's a lot more to them. And this is just an introduction. I'm going to do the same thing. Watch phone register, watching the asterisk uh, log and the Apache log. Uh, it looks like this to begin with. I'm going to hit uh, control K in my case and clear the buffer a few times. Wait for it on the right. There's the last part of the phone pulling a config. And then on the left, we'll see there it goes. It's registered. So you can you can watch more than just two. It's a highly versatile tool. Last but not least, a pair of handy networking tools. First up, Nmap. In this, I'm just going to use a simple example to see if UDP port 5060 is listening on the PBX. Um, type the command, hit enter. 
and it's open and filtered. Rounding out our introduction to command line tools is Netstat. Netstat's handy. Uh, in this example, I'm going to check to see which ports are open on my PBX. You don't have to guess, you can know. Thanks for watching. This has been an open source pro tip by Sangoma.